Hello, welcome to Inspirations by Terry. I hope everyone is doing well on this beautiful Sunday. Um, I just want to say to you first and foremost, because I always forget that if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. I'm always night um, dropping good inspirational videos, shorts to encourage you throughout your journey of life. If you like what you hear, share. Um, and also you can leave a comment and um, Again, thank you for being here if it's your first time. If you're um, a, a faithful Inspirations by Terrier, I'm glad that you're back, okay? Today, I want to talk to you guys about um, are you being faithful over what the Most High has entrusted in your hands? Are you, are you um, being faithful? Are you a good steward of what he's given um, you? Everyone in life... Um, we all have been given gifts. We all have been given things from the Most High. He said he gives us all, he gave us all good gifts. Only you know what your gift is. Only you, you know what your talent is. But are you using that gift and that talent to um, bring glory and to bring honor to the Most High? Yah? Um, and only you know that. One thing I know that our, all our gifts are different. All our talents are different, but one thing I know that we have all been allotted is time. All of us have the same amount of time. So we can't say, well, she has more time than I do and he has more time than I do. It's not that anyone has more time or less time. It's what they do with they, their time that they have. They um, use it wisely. They're... Um, they, you know, they're, they, they're productive or they have um, order or they prioritize is the word I'm looking for. Prior, prioritizing is everything. You have to prioritize your life. What are you doing? Are you a good mother? If the Most High has given you the ability to, um, to give birth and bear children, what kind of mother are you? You know, are you teaching your children about the Most High Yah? Are you sharing with them the story of our Creator? Um, we all, well not all, but the mothers, that if you are a mother, all of us can look back over our lives and say, mm, I wish I would have did this a little different or I wish I would have did that a little different. But that's life. You live and you learn. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. You can always see better looking back like, oh, I should have did this, I should have did that. So you can't beat yourself up. But going forward from today and going forward, you know, are you, are you being a good steward over your um, children? Are you spending time with your children? Are you sharing with them about the Most High? Are you getting to know them, the things that they desire, the things that, um, that they're talented in? Are you... Are you um, helping them in that area? Like if you see your child always singing, you know, maybe you can get them into, a, you know, some singing lessons or get them into a choir or, you know, pull that gift out. If you see them playing, always drumming or, you know, hitting the table, buy them some drums. But you see what I'm saying? Like pull that gift out of our children if you're a parent. If you're not a parent um, and you have been given, um, you know, you're... You, if you're not a parent, everyone's a sister, a brother, a mother, um, a father, um, a friend, um, and have a job. You have a job or you have your own business. How are you doing that? Are you being a good steward there? Are you showing up on time? Um, are you, you know, are you going to... Um, if you get a 45 minute lunch, do you go to lunch and come back after the 45 minutes is up? Or do you, are you at lunch and you're saying, oh my goodness, I have five more minutes left. Are you going back at that 40 and giving yourself five minutes to go to the bathroom and then come back and be at the appointed place at your desk when, you're, when your lunch is over? Or do you wait? I used to do this. I used to wait to the last minute. Oh, it's 45. Let me. Then I would run to the bathroom. Then I would come back to my desk. And then I would be like, oh, you know, and I'm thinking I'm on time. But no, I was late, you know. And the Lord dealt with me when I used to work and say, you know, you are representing me. You are a daughter of the Most High. 
you should be the example. Be on time. Be, um, if you get a 45 minute lunch, take your 45 minutes and be at your appointed time. Whether everyone else is getting away with it, whether your supervisor is calling you out on it and you're, and you're getting that pass or whatever, no, do what you're supposed to do. If you're at work and you're in a supply closet and you need some pens because you're having, you know, a girl's night or you're having a little Bible study and everyone forgets to bring a pen and you're in the supply closet and you see 10 boxes of pens, do you take pens home? I used to, I used to do that as well. Um, and the Lord also dealt with me on that. Like, those are not your pens. The company has to give an account for that. Like, that's stealing. Like, do not do that. You know, I'm like, oh, wow. You know, I was guilty of that. Also guilty of um, taking, um, also guilty of um, if I had a lesson, you know, and I wanted everyone to have a copy of a lesson, I would, before I get up for work, I'm supposed to get up for work at 5 or 5.30, I'm at the copy machine 4.30 for a whole hour, copying 10 lessons for 10 people on the company's time, on the company's paper, on the company's everything, and not doing what I was supposed to be doing, my job. That's stealing. I was still in time. I was still in um, their paper, their ink, everything. Long story short, the Lord dealt with me on all of that, and I had to repent and say, oh my goodness, Father, forgive me. You know, it's not just free for me to take because it's just there in abundance, you know? So I had to repent and um, I learned. I learned my lesson, you know, I learned. So what are you storting over? Are you being the best that you can be? Are you showing up on time? Like I said, if you have to be at work at eight o'clock, leave your house at seven. Make sure you have enough of time to be on time so that when people talk of you and talk of your character, it's a good report because you represent the most high yeah, right? And, um, you know, if you have a house, if you have a home and, you know, it may not be all that you want it to be. You may require or not require, you may desire a bigger house or a bigger yard, but the yard that you have, that little, the one that you have, are you keeping it clean? Are you keeping the grass cut? You know, maybe plant a few flowers here, or there, or something, spruce the place up. Are you being a good steward? You know, sometimes you want something else. Oh, I, if I had a bigger yard, I would have this fence and I would do this and I would do that. Well, you're not going to get the bigger yard if you're not taking care of the little one you have because the Bible tells us, <clears throat> the Bible tells us that. Um, if you, you know, if you're faithful over few, he'll make you faithful over much. So the more that you show that you can handle, the more that you show that you can be faithful, the more that you show you can take care of, because some of us can not take care of some things. You know, some of us have husbands and we don't take care of them. Children, we don't take care of them. And we want more, but more is not going to come to us because we can't even handle what we were given here making sure that they're okay, making sure that they're fed, making sure that they're, you know, satisfied with what you have that you were given to give them. You can't make anyone happy. You can't, you can't be the, the be on and the end all for everyone, but you do have your part to play and you have to be the best that you can be in those situations because in the end, we will give an account for every word, for every deed, for everything that we have done, we will give an account. I want to come to you from Matthew um, chapter 24, um, verse 45. It says, Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom the Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed, he said, is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Doing what? Being faithful, a wise servant over his household. And the household is, encompasses a lot, but taking care of your house, taking care of your house. He said, blessed is that servant when the Lord comes and find him doing so. Verily I say unto you that he shall 
make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that, that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming. Like, oh, I thought he was coming yesterday. He didn't come. I thought he was coming tomorrow. Oh, he didn't come. I thought he was coming in May. He didn't come. He said, but the, he said, but my Lord delayeth his coming. And that servant shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and to drink with the drunken. I'm just going to have it. You know, I'm not worried about my responsibilities. And the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. And in an hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion. What's his portion? Only Yah knows what his portion shall be because he was not faithful. He didn't do what the Most High told him to do. But he said he will give him his portion with the hypocrites. He said, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Okay. So that's one example of the Most High giving you something, telling you to do be a good steward over it. What are you going to do? Are you going to be like, well, he didn't come back yet. I don't think, I don't see, you know, him coming yet. I got time. I'm just going to go get drunk. I'm just going to go do my own thing. I'm just going to go. No, be about your business. Be about what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. And how about in chapter 25 of Matthew, he, he you know, he's talking here to the 10 virgins where he gave everyone um, their oil, right? Their lamps with oil. And um, they go out. Five were wise, five were foolish. And it says here, he said, um, but the wise took the, okay. And it says here, while the bridegroom tarried, meaning again, just like before, oh, where's he at? He's not coming yet. He's tarrying somewhere. They all slumbered and slept. Like we have time. We have time. He said, but then, you know, at midnight, there was a cry made, behold, behold, the bridegroom cometh, he cometh. And they all the virgins arose and they trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, give us, give us your oil for our lamps have gone out. The wise were like, and the wise answer saying, no, not so. Lest there should not be enough for us. But you go rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom, the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage supper and the door was shut. So the, the, the foolish never even made it into the, to the, to, to, um, to the marriage because they were busy going back to buy instead of keeping their oils, their lamps trimmed, waiting on the promise that was given to them. Is that you? Are you, mm, I have time. I don't have to do this right now. I don't have to worry about my lamp being filled. I can fill it later. Or thinking that you can get to the end of your life and say to someone, give me your portion. Give me what you have because I don't have enough to make it. No, because that's their portion. They're going to need that to make it in. I can't stand for you and say, um, come on, Susie, give me a little bit of that because I don't have enough. I wasn't faithful. No, Susie's not going to give me what her, you know, you cannot rely on someone else. You have to do it for yourself. What has God Yah, given you to be faithful over that you are not, that you're dropping the ball, that you are not being a good steward and not being a faithful servant? Only you know. Think about it while you still have time. It says in Romans 14, 12, it is written as surely as I live, says the Most High Yah, every knee shall bow before me and every tongue shall confess. Every tongue shall acknowledge that he is the Most High Yah. So then each of us will give an account each of us, I don't care who we are, whether we claim we know the most high or we claim we don't know him or we don't believe in him or we don't believe this and we don't believe that. He said that each and every one of us will give an account of ourselves unto the most high. Yah. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. 
let us stop looking to this person, looking to that person and talking about this person. Oh, she don't have it together or I don't have it together or she's doing this or he's doing that or he did this and he did that or I need their oil. They're not giving me enough oil. Mm -mm. No, we're all going to give an account for ourselves before the Most High and will you be ready? Will you be found as a good steward? Will you hear those words enter into the marriage, enter into the joy of the Lord, thy good and faithful servant, my good and faithful servant. Those are the words that you want to hear. And those, this is the, this is the message that I wanted to get across. There's so much more I could have said, but I do believe that you all get the gist of what I'm saying be the best that you can be, whether you live in a big house, medium-sized house, small house, trailer, whatever it is. Keep it clean. Keep it nice. If you have children, be kind. Teach them of the most high. Spend time with them. Dinner time, turn the TV off. Sit as a family. You know, do things different. There's not much time left. Make it count. Make it the most, you know, and it's not always about going and escaping and on vacations and doing all of this and doing all that. A lot of times it's the simple things, being at home, maybe go outside and build a fire together. Give your son or your daughter or the, um, whom, your husband, you know, babe, here, you do the wood, I'll do this, I'll clean the chicken. This one, cut the potatoes, let's do this, let's do it as a family unit. Let's spend quality time. Let's talk about the most high. Let's talk about how we made it over, how we made it so far in um, the terrible things that's going on. People are dying left and right. But look, we're still here. Let's make it count. Okay. So what are you doing with the time and with the gifts and talents the most high entrusted to you? Be blessed again, subscribe, like, and share. And thanks for watching. I appreciate you. God bless. I mean, Yah bless you. Bye.